Hello and welcome to a new campaign and this time we are playing some Rome Total War and we're playing as Egypt and we get medium difficulty campaign on the campaign map and battles will be on hard because I'm not too used to this game yet it's been a while since I played it but I thought I would bring you guys a nice short though campaign but I already have a few campaigns ongoing and uh, basically want to try and do a short one first and see how it goes. So yeah, let's then first play. I have been in the service of Pharaoh for many many years. It is my task to write down all that is decided. My father did this before me, and his father before him. We have faithfully recorded and seen much. Pharaoh is our lord and master. He is Horus reborn, and will be Osiris in the afterlife. All of Egypt lives and dies by his divine wish. And this is as it should be. We are his children. Pharaoh loves us all. We would conquer the world so that all can know his wise rule. Even if Pharaoh did not ask this, we would do it. His enemies will be struck down. Night and darkness will take them. The sands will be stained red. All this will come to pass, for Pharaoh has decreed it. So it is written, so shall it be. And so it shall be, yeah. Really like that intro. It just feels amazing to be playing this game again and to be able to record videos <laughs> for YouTube. I mean, this is just... As I mentioned, if you viewed the uh, the battle I upload, uh, uploaded earlier, the feel to this game is just... It, it's so hard to compare when you're used to Total War, uh, or Rome 2 and uh, Attila, and then you get your hands on this game and it's just... I mean, it's it brings back <laughs> brings back a lot of memories, and I mean, it's just different in a very positive way. And yeah, I think it's good if you want to keep if you if you like me enjoy playing tour wings, you should really um, you need you need to. Uh, come back to the earlier titles sometimes. I mean, because although I did re really has enjoyed, especially Rome too. I had to say, even though it uh, yes, I know it had an awful launch, and then came the patches, and you you got the DLCs, and yeah, a lot of people are still angry. But if you just look at the finished game, then it's, I I mean it's really good for me as the, because this is my favorite time period in terms of mm, historical warfare the ancient times i just th yeah that's that is pretty much my favorite time period i would really like if we could actually have a, a, a title that takes place even earlier but yeah that is for another game and so let's take a look at our starting position so we have three settlements in Egypt we have in over here in modern day Israel and I'm guessing Lebanon or and uh, close to modern day Syria we got Cyprus yeah so let's check on diplomacy no enemies, no allies. Oh, of course we have the rebels. But yeah. And while we're at it, 
might as well take a look at the family tree. So we have our faction leader, Hekhemut, age 55. Master Embalmer. <laughs> so I'm guessing that is our Pharaoh. And then we have our faction heir. Oh my god, you need to get yourself a proper name. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> oh my god, just trying to pronounce it, his name it makes me want to cough. Uh, I, I will call you Kirk, that's a good name. And Hekhemut, I can actually I think pronounce that recently. Tahotep and Kia, that's a car, I think. So there we go, we got. Hekhemut, we got Kirk, and we got uh, this guy, uh, Peter, and Kia. <laughs> and of course, the uh, wives, Eurydice, Anexi, Satsubek, Pedibastet, and Zenbi. A lot, a lot easier names. <laughs> I wonder, can you set... No, you can only have ma male heirs, it would seem. So, let's uh, take a look at our... If we have any forces, we of course have now... Get the, need to get used to having garrisons, actually. That we need to recruit in each town. We do have a small force over here, and that is our faction leader. And... yeah. Another general over here, which I think is the uh, one of the sons of the faction leader, Peter, as I named him. So basically, our goal is to go after Syria and Armenia. So Syria, of course, uh, Seleucid, I should say, not Syria. Uh, Seleucid, of course, are over here-ish in this general area. Armenia, at least modern-day Armenia, is situated. Over here somewhere between the Black Sea and the Cas Caspian Sea. So let's take a look at our economy. Doo -doo -doo. Projected income 10k. So, um, yeah, projected profits 4.5k almost. Good. Let's send our spy out. And we will send him, let's see, we of course have got some rebel settlements now. We need to take, see if we can find them. You see this rebel settlement over here in Sinai. So we'll try and find that one. And uh, so of course we should do share the northern border with Seleucids and to the east there appears, appears to be more rebels. So we should prepare for to claim these early rebel settlements before someone else do. Shrine uh, to Horus, yeah sure. I don't know if there's gonna be a big difference in temple development later maybe. Wooden Palisade, yeah, sure. Let's build a fence in Salamis. And the Thieves. Not really in, in any immediate threat. We get the Libyans to the west, but let's, sure, let's build Wooden Palisade. Memphis. Oh, Kirk is governor over there. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Port should probably be good. And over here. Yeah, let's build a shrine to Isis. And what can we do over here? Port as well. Need some trade. And that's it for buildings. So we should probably build our main force over here with our... Oh, we can recruit peasants. Uh, hmm. Yeah. So we got a barracks in Memphis. 
and in Thebes and in Sidon let's get another unit of Nubian Spearman in Sidon and let's start building some units in Memphis then uh, so Nubian Spearman skirmishes and slingers, so mm, we should probably uh, let's start just getting a few units. Although I would probably prefer some more slingers to uh, javelin men. A bit easier to manage. I found. I find it. Do we have any diplomats? Uh, are there any? Let's see if we have any scrolls for that. Agents. We do have a diplomat. Nakti. So let's send you west. Yes, Go west. And let's talk to the Libyans. I'll do that next turn. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, you want me to pay you money? Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. Just take that offer for now, and then we shall stab them in the back later. Uh, so let's keep sending the diplomat to the Libyans At once. No more if we can find them sir. so we are recruiting but I think we have built some buildings now let's keep going with the temple over here port over there and let's Let's actually build some stables in Alexandria, so we can get some cavalry. And in Sidon, let's build a practice range for stables. Now let's go for the practice range. So there is a Seleucid diplomat. Let's get a diplomat over here as well, so we can. Uh, so we can send it to north or northeast. So here we have two rebel settlements. They should probably be our first priority then. Once we've gathered, or maybe we could actually attack them now. Let's see, hello, four units and three units, so there's pretty much nothing there. So let's grab our faction leader and everyone except the peasants and send them. Oh, and now of course we can build watchtowers and then we shall send... Ah, the peasants blocking the way, but they can link up without crossing the Nile good and you have moved so let's end the turn it's just so nice as well to have a Total War Games where the end turn phases are just so quick so that you don't get bogged down and just oh, take ages to wait until you can get ready to play out of moves great lord my lead Onward! Out of moves, great lord! Well, let's send you to, to, mm, 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 somewhere else then. Let's not bother sending him further south. Let's go north. And we should have a diplomat now in Sidon. Yes, you should go. Let's see if we can. We should probably go in this direction. So there's Antioch. 
to look get capital. Some more buildings uh, finished. Let's actually get crater in there as well. And over here, mm -mm, let's build trader Memphis. Yeah, let's let us build a militia barracks. And then Jerusalem. Let's get a barracks over there as well. And now let's just check how the garrison is over here. So peasants that wouldn't do. Let's yeah yeah. Let's get more peasants. <laughs> oh, we got a new family member. And he's probably pretty good general actually. Can you make it to Alexandria in this turn? No, you can't. We shall send in there soon, though. So, I think that's everyone almost done for. Haven't found him yet. Maybe there's a settlement somewhere in more inland but we shall see keep going along the coast for now and yeah so you can go around over here let's keep you moving so that we have more rebels Let's merge these guys and build a watch. No, we can't, of course, we're in rebel territory. And keep sending this guy. And then, then another diplomat over here. No, I already moved him. Well, of course. Uh, so let's check, on, check up on construction again. Every town is building something. And there's still rebels just standing around outside Memphis. Loitering around. Well, it's in the turn. Or maybe we can. Uh, let's just see here. We got another Saluki town right there that I didn't notice first. Let's get some more spearmen over here. Some slingers in Jerusalem, just in case. Salamis should be protected for the moment. So let's see if we can make it to that rebel settlement. In this turn then. Most advanced faction, yay! Mighty no, in the next turn. Petra. Which I, if I'm not wrong, is where they have that very, very, very interesting temple that I do think was featured in that Indian Jones film movie that I can't remember the name of, either the temple or the movie. But yeah, yeah, I think you know what I'm talking about. So inside them, let's go for the militia barracks because that is a frontier city. And let's keep sending you to discover new factions. Ah, Pontic diplomat. Hello. All right, I like your beard. Thank you. And let's mm, get some map information. Yes, alliance perhaps. Yes, I think that will be all. Thank you very much. So we now have an 
alliance with Pontus. Let's see how they're. If they are at war with anyone. Pontus, Pontus. No? Great. Your obedience Good job. Yes. We're not really. F I, I think that I've gone too far because now I can see there's this is a rebel territory. So let's send him there. And let's just check on construction again. Let's go for some better roads for Thebes and same in Memphis and the heartlands of the Egyptian Empire. And we click the end turn button, and then next turn now we shall be able to attack and claim our first settlement for the, this campaign. Oh, send me. Garrison Commander. No, of course that's oh. his name is Am Amun Mose Jurgetes. Sure. No, oh, we lost the not the most advanced faction anymore. Order. Let's go and Prepare attack. Oh yeah, how we have to lay siege. Fine. Break one at once. I forgot to move my spy for a while. I serve the little way. Let's just send him you over there. Shall see me move to please his great lord. And then we shall see how we are doing with construction. Yep, good. Oh, now we can get some Nile Spearmen. So they are fighting in a phalanx. So are the Nubian Spearmen. Let's just check. Uh, 5 to attack and charge bonus. 7 3. Total defense and armor 13-3. Yeah, so they are a lot better. And they have poor morale as well, yeah. So the Nile Spearman it is. Let's see actually what we can recruit elsewhere. Uh, I think I did build a stable somewhere. Should be finished by now. Yeah, in Alexandria we can get some desert cavalry. Good. Effective against armor, combat bonus in desert. Yeah. Axe armed cavalry. And another general on shore, why not? And town grows, Thebes. So let's build the governor's palace then. And more growth, Salamis expands. Governor's villa then. And yeah, that's it. War declared. Marriage celebrations. Oops. Wrong button. And. Finally, Order. conquest. Attack. So let's see what they have got. Archers, Eastern Infantry, between Archers, Arab Cavalry. If, enough, if I recall correctly, Eastern Infantry is basically Eastern Spearmen. <laughs> but the original Eastern Spearmen. So let's fight it. 
so that we can have a battle in the first part. Yeah, my enemy smells worse than a camel. Okay, so uh, let's make our entry here to the front. We shall send in our... No, not our archers. Come on, that's just stupid. Let's keep our archers back and send in our Nubian spearmen. Hello, oh, come on. No, they can't because they are in the phalanx. Mission, okay. Use the ram. And my general is a unit of chariots. Yeah, oh, a lot of chariots. Oh, and I have two units of chariot archers. Cool. Very cool. But let's get cracking, let's... Let's tear down the walls and... Claim this settlement. Let's get our archers up. Support. And let's actually take a look at the quick look at the units. From the Nubian Spearmen. We got our standard bowman <laughs> running very silent movie-like forward. We got our Egyptian chariot archers wearing very nice armor. Looks like it's almost look like it's gold with the, of course, standard e Egyptian issue beards. And that's our general. Let's see if we can find him actually. Yeah, I'm thinking in Rome the general's usually on the side of the units if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. The dude with the hat. So how are we doing? Let's send our archers forward a bit further. Your soldiers have brought the ram to the gates. Yes. I know I told them to do so. And let's fire on the Arab cavalry. Oh, nice. And then let's go for the. No, let's keep going for the cavalry there. Still there. And we should probably move up with our chariots as well because they are missile units. And you can move up as well. There we go. Has done its work. Your soldiers have broken the enemy gate. And let's keep firing on. Oh, file information, please. And I would like you to just block the gates for now. Luck and the gods smile upon you. The enemy walls Good. are breached. Let's get you guys covering this entrance as well. And our archers, you can fire on the Eastern infantry. So they seem to be retreating now, so let's actually just move in. You can go for the cavalry. You just move in and you... Yeah, everyone just get in there. So these guys are now taking some serious archer fire. Your men have taken the walls. And they're broken. Now the, way to your victory is clear. the cavalry cannot really respond because I have my Nubian spearmen coming in in phalanx formation. And now we are slowly 
but surely getting closer to the main square. Here we go, are they charging? Yeah, we're pierced so spears down. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Just pushing through. <laughs> Throwing people up in the air. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> oh how I missed this game. Oh, it's just great. Okay, so they just went straight in and messed up my formation. Oh, that's a lot of arrows. <laughs> just sitting there. Oh, hold on. Hello. <laughs> I love it how he just looks down and uh, keep firing. I don't care. Let's just send everyone in. But I don't want the chariots running because I think that will cut down our own men. Or at least trip them over. And probably let's get. Yeah, I think it might be better to fire on their archers rather than our own men. Come on, archers. Let's try our fire arrows. Let's be fun. If you would like to fire. Mm, they are not really moving forward. Nah, probably no use anymore my archers. So let's then select everyone except the archers and get in there. Take out the general. The garrison general. Become the chariots. And there we go again. Oh. Yeah, you better run. One camel. Oh, no, no, here we go. There it goes. Yeah, there we go. Clear victory. Hekemut, faction leader. So, uh, yeah. Most casualties inflicted by the bowmen. And so we have captured our first settlement for the campaign, oh, yes, and we should just occupy Tinder Expanse. And let's repair and build some roads and retrain our units. But I think I will end the ep uh, episode here, and yeah, we'll I will be back soon with more and. Uh, should be more Swaby coming out soon. I have recorded um, the upcoming part, so I just need to upload it. But thanks for watching and show your support for the new campaign by liking, subscribing, and all that other stuff that you do. So thanks for watching and bye.